Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while. Um, we have had a lot going on here at home um, to the point where I just felt like I couldn't give it 100% if I was filming, but I have missed it. And so I'll be sharing some details with you guys about what's been going on, what we're doing um, in the next couple of weeks. But for now, I wanted to go ahead and film a September homeschool update, um, curriculum and unit study along with what we're doing for Labor Day. And I want to go ahead and tell you that this is a collaboration with my good friend Alicia um, and her YouTube channel is by Alicia Brooke. So I will be linking that down below for you guys. So don't forget to go watch hers um, for more ideas about what you can do for September. I have been waiting, you guys, for months for Gather Round <laughs> to drop one of the year two units and it has just about eaten me alive. I have been so <laughs> anxious with anticipation for printing this out and getting it ready. And so I'm actually filming this <laughs> in between printing everything out for us to start tomorrow. I'm really excited but I wanted to take a minute and stop after I got Lorelai's finished and show it to you guys because it's so cute and tell you um, what we're doing alongside with it because honestly I want this to be a one and done um, school day with uh, the things that I've got from Gather Round besides their math um, which is the only thing Gather Round says that you do need to add as of right now. So I'm, I'm going to be leaning very heavily on this is my curriculum, this is what I'm using for school. If we go down rabbit trails or decide to study something because we studied that in our unit that day, that's different. But I really want to see where this takes us and if it really does bring the joy out in our homeschool the way that I have heard it has done for so many people. So. The email for the PDFs for Antarctica, which is the first unit of the year for the year two bundle, um, dropped literally like a couple hours ago, a few hours ago. So I want to go ahead and show you that. But first, um, I did want to show you what I got for Lorelai, which is also a gather around unit study. But I have a, um, a little girl who is amazing in math she's already probably a year ahead of where she needs to be for math but her reading has really been um i don't want to say lacking i just feel like it's taken her longer to get to the point where she's ready to read um so the things that we've been using from the good and the beautiful from masterbooks all these things i love and i can only speak highly of because i see the benefit of it but it wasn't working for her so Gather Round dropped the Burrows and Holes um, Ready to Read 1 curriculum. And so people have been commenting when I showed this on Instagram, like, well, which unit is that from, you know, your Gather Round? And so this is actually separate from the bundles that I got. This is specific to kids who um, know their um, numbers up to 20 and know their letters, know the sounds. But they're ready to start with blends and they're ready to start reading words and things like that. This is a full curriculum. So this will have a little bit of math in it too along with art. Let me see. I'm going to show you. So this is my teacher guide. But it says these pages will include word families, math, calendar, art, mini books, Bible, science, and social studies. So this is everything. So while... Lorelai is further along in her math skills than what this is doing right now. It's still giving her the chance to learn how to really write these numbers well um, and things like that. But everything else in here is very age appropriate for her. So I'm just adding a math worksheet from her level two master books, um, math lessons for living education to her um, burrows and holes. But if your child is like five years old or something and they're, you know, they're getting a grasp of letters, sounds, um, numbers, things like that, this is perfect. And, and like I said, this is perfect for Lorelai other than she is further along in her math skills. So we're just adding that 
to it but she has really enjoyed it and Tay even really enjoyed listening to the lesson today and the cool thing is these lessons are really short they're a lot shorter than what you're going to see in the um the regular unit studies from gather round so i want to show you really quickly um so this is day one and this is day two so you can see like this is all i'm reading but we're still getting um i'm, I'm checking off what i've talked about in my teacher's guide and then page one two three and four of her workbook so this is really quick takes about five, 10 minutes to read it. And then you're maybe working in her workbook for about 20 minutes. So it's not too much. And so I'm really excited about this because Lorelai has been all about bugs lately, digging in the dirt, getting outside and just being, being in nature and touching everything with her hands and, you know, finding butterflies and finding worms and, fi and doing all that. So when I saw this, I'm like, I think God's speaking to me because I really think this is what's going to work. And to be honest, she has actually started a few blends and done really well with them. Um, only in a couple of days. And so she made this book today. Um, it's the at words. And so we did made a flip book that she's practicing. And then she has her sat word that she does each week. Um, so... I think it's going to be really fun for her and it's going to take that pressure off of her and give her that confidence that she's been lacking. So I did want to show you that because I was so excited. It was, I bought it on a whim, but I'm so thankful that I did because I can already see the benefit in it. And then for her, because Gather Round is supposed to be an all around family unit study where you just print off the level that each child needs if you have multiples. Um, I'm kind of like, well, what do I do now if I'm having to teach two things when the whole point was for me to not teach two things. Um, but in the description at the beginning, it says if you have other children that you're teaching with the gather round curriculum, and this is being added to help an early reader, then what you need to do is to print off the pre-reader level for um, this child that's doing the the ready to read and so at this point so she has a reading log and things like that but she'll just be sitting in on the lesson and then she'll have pictures to color and um, little projects to do in here like that it won't be writing and reading as much as the other levels so she's still going to be included in this, which I'm really thankful because she does love to color and she does love to read. So we'll be reading books together that I bought for this unit study along with other things that she just loves and including that in here. So I'm really excited that I, I get to add her in to this and it's not going to be overwhelming to her. It's not adding a ton more worksheets. It's just giving her a chance to listen and learn something new while she colors it. So she's doing something that she already loves to do. But I haven't looked too much into this yet, but I'm really excited. There's a recitation in here from Joshua. It's um, Joshua chapter one, verses one through 11. And I guess we'll be memorizing this um, this month. So I'm actually, I'm so intimidated and excited about this all at the same time. So, since we've covered the units that I'm finally doing for the year, um, I wanted to go over what we're doing for Labor Day. And I really felt in my heart that I wanted to make every year special and start showing, you know, what America celebrates and what holidays are important and why. Because those are things that I never really did when I was younger. And I just feel like I want... I want them to understand why we celebrate these things. It's not just the 4th of July. It's not just Labor Day. Um, it's not just Christmas. It's, you know, there's a reason behind every one of these holidays. So, I bought this planner a while back, which I have a video on my flip through, and I will link it um, up here. But every month, it has... Um, different ideas, field trips and fun ideas, books to read, and did you know? 
And so I've really started just embracing what I already have in front of me and using it to, to plan out the month. And so we have talked about what the kids want to be when they grow up. You know, they, they say certain things. And so um, Lorelai said she wants to be a builder. She loves to build blocks. She loves to create things with magnet tiles. She loves to watch videos on how homes are built. She's just always really enjoyed that. And both of the kids love when we're driving um, to different places. They love to look at all the different homes and see what the differences are and how they're made. And, you know, they just really enjoy seeing the beauty in all the different homes that they see. So they both really enjoyed learning about building and things like that. So with that being said, I did buy Lorelai a... Um, how a home is built book and it's a really sweet little book but i got her a how a home is built and i will link each book down below but i really wanted to let her see what actually goes into a home and so it was just above her reading level nothing crazy it's definitely geared towards um younger children but it did explain like you need you need a contractor and you need a, you know like a general home contractor and then they're going to bring in each different specialty for your home to be built and you can't have the landscapers come in when septic's being put in or things like that like it talks about septic and the well and the painters and all of the different steps that it takes to build a home and it was really interesting i actually learned some stuff from it so we've bought each child a book based on what they said they want to do when they grow up and we're going to be um, writing a paper and possibly making like a poster board based on what they want to be and what they want to do when they grow up. So I'm really excited to just teach them, you know, about what the labor movement is as well. So we're going to be watching YouTube videos on the labor movement, what that means, um, and things like that. So there are different places that we can talk about this um, month about policemen and what our town does for us and all the different areas that can naturally come up when you're having conversations with your children about you know here's what this person does and why this is important and things like that and then let them see that like each person has a job to do and why that's important you know so I'm just really excited to dive in um, to all that this month with the kids. And Tate said he wanted to do what his dad does. <laughs> and so with my husband working in hospitals, he works on the um, lab analyzers that run the labs in the hospital. So it's a lot of physical work and then it's also a lot of mental work with computers and programs and things like that. And so my husband has his MBA. I'm very proud of him for that. But I wanted to teach my son that, you know, your dad has a, a higher education. He worked really hard for that. You know, he only got that just about two years ago. So he's worked really hard. As I was finishing nursing school, he went in and got his bachelor's degree and then his MBA. So we have both gone to school and done that in adulthood and with children and worked really hard to get our degrees and so I want to show Tate that getting higher degrees like that is a good thing and especially with an MBA you can do so much with that so I want to teach him this month um, just because I really feel like kids need to learn this anyway <laughs> I got the Usborne Understanding Money book and so we'll be reading like a page or two of this a day and just talking about it. And then I'm going to be working with him on how to save money, how we budget, why that's important and about, you know, just finances in general. So I'm really excited to do this with him. I feel like sometimes I need a refresher course <laughs> in budgeting and finance and things like that. So I wanted to dive into this um, with him because I just feel like it's it's going to be important especially if he wants to do something like his dad where you'll have to go to college or you can do it through the military but a lot of these jobs now do require a higher degree of education so 
I want to talk to him about that and then about um, the money aspect because that is a big part of business. That's what we're going to be doing this month. I hope this gave you some ideas on what you might want to do with your kids this month. I hope that this has given you ideas for just what you can do naturally with your kids based on what is happening in our world and what holidays we may be celebrating because that is something that I'm really learning to just um, embrace and use to my advantage as a mother and a homeschooling mom at that. But I hope that you enjoyed this. Also, don't forget to go watch Alicia's video for all of her big ideas for this month. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.